welcome everyone out of the woo here. Check out my new alias Clark trucker hat. And I use the term new very loosely and frivolously because I used to actually own this said trucker hat more than a decade ago. Heck, 12, maybe even 13 years ago, this trucker hat could have been worn on my head. Maybe this is the one. But it is one of the few alias Clark trucker hats left in the world, if not the only alias Clark trucker hat left in the world. And I have now been reunited with this said headwear for this vlog and the intro. Reunited. And it feels... <laughs> it feels so good! It's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo, coming to you from a public street. Hopefully the people in this house or the people walking down the road do not think, who is that lunatic sitting on the street corner talking about alias Clark, which also, you probably know, refers to Superman, but it also refers to a fantastic pop punk band that I and two other gentlemen helped create in the early 2000s. We thought we knew what pop punk was. Let's face it, we had no clue what we were doing. However, pop punk has turned into a very wide range, a wide spectrum of musical styles. When you say pop punk by today's standards, you do not know what you're gonna get. If you Google pop punk and listen to any bands that are out there, you might get one genre from another from another. It's a wide variety, but we thought, we did think that we were creating something original, yet similar to other pop punk bands that were out there. Why am I talking about AliasClark.com? Why am I talking about this trucker hat? I slipped up there and I told you the AliasClark.com. Spoiler alert, there is a website, AliasClark.com, as seen on this old sticker, which is also, this sticker right there, is also over a decade old. I was sent these by the singer of Alias Clark. We have decided that we were going to put Alias Clark, a 10 song album, it's actually two EPs, two four song EPs that we released in 2002 and 2003. Me and Jim Tromontana and Andy Wambach, the three of us created Alias Clark. A year later, we had our buddy Matt join the band as a fourth piece to this Alias Clark incarnation that we created. And for the first time ever, the album is up on iTunes. You can go to aliasclark.com Listen to the songs. It's free to listen to them. If you so choose to download the songs, that is awesome too. I would like you to leave some comments down below about what you think about the 2000 and 2002, 2003 band that I play bass guitar in, my pop punk roots. I would like for you to leave some comments down below about what you guys think about these tunes. Also leave some comments down below if you decided to purchase the album and which of those 10 songs, there's eight studio songs and two live songs, is your favorite. So this vlog is all about a piece of my history. Think about that, 12 to 13 years ago, Central Florida, a pop punk band, me barely even know how to play the bass guitar. And let's face it, I have not even progressed in that time. Since then I joined a band called The New Threat in Florida. Then we broke up and I joined the band Guttermouth from here in California for about two years, five full US, Canada, and Mexico tours. But before those bands, before Guttermouth and the New Threat, I was in Alias Clark, and I am reunited with this hat, and I would like to hear your comments on that album. You can find the iTunes link down below. I post the link down below as well, as well, not as well, oh well, oh well, a very deep subject, as well as aliasclark.com, the Insta not Instagram, the iTunes. I'm very confused, I'm very bewildered, and that all stems from my excitement. Check it out, links will be down below. If you feel like downloading it, I thank you in advance, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, but only if you subscribe. Have a great day, bye.